Hey, you guys, what's happening? You stuck with me, family. How's it going? Hey, last night I was on Facebook talking to Kelly from Fiji. I think the city is uh, Suva, and I hope I'm not tearing it up. But um, he's married out there, and him and his wife, you know, he was saying, you know, they have their ups and downs, but they're making it work. And, and I just want to encourage you guys to go and make it work. Even way out there in Fiji, it, it's awesome that, you know, marriages all around the world, you know, even though we're in different countries, different languages, different cultures, different customs, you know, some of the things are still the same. The communication is still the same. You need to have it. You need to have the, the love, the, the respect, the admiration. But, you know, and as I'm talking to him, I, I realize that a lot of us, you know, we're making it work. And, you know, we always put on the bottom of our stuff when we write, uh, marriage takes work, so go out there and work it. And it takes work. But the thing is, you know, a lot of us, when we speak about it, we say, well, we're trying to make it work. But hey, we have to change our speech. We are not trying. We're doing. We're making it work. You know, funny thing is um, a couple of nights ago, my wife and the kids, they were um, over there. They were making uh, cupcakes and um, she had them make it and they were cracking the eggs themselves. And, you know, they were beating the batter up themselves and she had the mixer. And it was really cool, except for when it was over. Somebody had to clean that up, and it was a mess. You know, there was white flour and stuff everywhere, and the kids had white stuff on their face because they were licking the bowl, and, and it was messy. Now, the cupcakes, when they came out, they were good, but the process that it took to make them was a little messy, especially when you're dealing with kids who, you know, who've never done it before and who've never made it or, or mixed stuff or or broken an egg before, it got a little messy. Um, the final product was great, but the process was a little messy. And you know, that's like marriage. Even though some of us may have been married, you know, once, twice, two, three, four times, you know, how many times you've been married, but you've never been married to that person before. And it's a whole different situation and a whole different um, ball game. So, Every marriage is is brand new. And, you know, when we come in there, we're like those kids, you know, we're mixing it up. We're we're trying to find what ingredients work, what they what doesn't work, and we're mixing it together. And sometimes it gets a little messy, you know, but you know what we do? We pull out the, the cleaning supplies, we, we pull out the sponge and we spray it down and we clean it up and we put that batter and we put it in the oven. And when it comes out, it's great. And that's what I challenge you guys this morning. Continue, 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 because it's going to come out great. Trust me. I mean, personally, we've we've went through our mixing and, and measuring. And um, even now, we still, we still got to figure out what works, what doesn't work sometimes um, with things that pop up. But it's a process and we work it. Work is an action word. You, you actually do it. You have to constantly work, work at it. You can't take a day off sometimes. I know we feel like, man, but we may take time for ourselves every now and then. But marriage is a 24-7, 365 day a week job and we work at it every day. So first and foremost, hey, you guys, you get what comes out of your mouth. Whatever you speak, that's what comes back at you. So no more we're trying to make it work. No, we're making it work. We're doing what we have to do to make it work. That's your confession. That's what you're going to say every time. Every time you see, hey, baby, we're making this work, period. There is no ifs, there is no buts, there's no plan, B's, nothing. We're making it work. I remember, you know, um, I'm a military guy, so, you know, there was this uh, one story about this general um, way, way back when they had ships and everything back in England, and when he went in because they were going to uh, try to capture this land, and he went in with his ships, 
and when the guys came off the ships and they were standing on the beach and they were ready to attack, he gave an order to light the ships on fire. He burnt his ships. And then all the men were looking at him and one of his generals was like, what are you doing? He said, we either take this land or we die. There is no plan B. There is no getting back on the ships and there is no going back to where we came from unless we win. And that is the mentality we need to have when we get in, when we're in this marriage, folks. Burn the ships. There's no plan B. Make it work. That's it. Confess it every day. Say it every day. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work. No matter what we're going through right now, we're gonna make this work. And that's it. Period. So you know, again, tagline: Marriage takes work. So work it. And that's it. So you guys go ahead. Have a blessed day. Have a prosperous day. You know, love each other. Uh, I'm going to go and it's raining outside down here in South Florida. It's not too sunny this morning. It's raining. But, uh, you know, do some things around the house before the wife, she gets back home. So I'll see you guys. Uh, I love you guys. I love hearing from you guys all around the world. Wow. Fiji. Wow. So you guys have a blessed one. To my man Kelly. And uh, Sava Fiji, you and your wife, you will make it work. You will make it work. You guys do it. I love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.